Working dogs have increasingly become a part of life. They do everything from aiding in explosives and drug detections, searching for missing people or suspects, and even looking for those lost or hurt in building collapses. But unlike their human counterparts, getting medical aid to those animals hurt on the job, that's been tough. NBC10 reporter Deanna Durante tells us Pennsylvania has joined us three other states in changing that. Chase is an area search dog. His job? Searching for missing people through rough terrain, woods, and worse. I let Chase off lead. He goes and finds any human scent out in that 40 acres. Comes back to me. He pulls a ball off my side to tell me that he found someone. Do you worry about him getting hurt? I mean, when, where is that in your mind when you're on a I worry about traffic. I worry about him getting hit by a car. Canine Blitz? Well, he's doubly trained for narcotics and patrol. Yes, good girl. Good girl. And Canine Jolie? She's a bomb detection officer. The canine dog is a law enforcement officer. We will and feel very strongly about providing care to them. No different than we would a human officer. Except when it comes to medical care. Locally, we have seen canines shot, searching through rubble, and two years ago, killed while tracking suspects. The animals travel on rough terrain and enter into dangerous situations along with their handlers. If the handler is incapacitated, who's there to treat their canine partner? We got our own canine kits with uh, masks that are specially used to fit their face and their mouth, as well as their own tourniquets and medical gear and so forth. Last month, Pennsylvania became the fourth state nationwide to allow medical transport in ambulances and choppers for working canines. Emergency medical workers have gotten training and handlers even carry medication dosage so they not be able to help their partner. And we want to have these abilities to help them as much as possible. While many ambulance companies took on the job with no compensation. We don't get funded for this at all. So all your training, everything that you had to do to put into this came out of your own fundraising? Correct. Came out of our own pocket. Companies like Central Bucks say they need to be here to serve all officers. Just as canines have come here from afar to aid in searches, these dogs have traveled too. Our team searches anywhere from Bucks County all the way out to Lancaster County. We have members all the way across there. And recently, Chase became sick during a training exercise. And we had to call 17 different vets before we could get a vet that would see him within 24 hours. So the fact that we can give them, uh, you know, life-sustaining treatment now is huge for these guys. The treatment and ability now would aid any working canine. The fact that Central Bucks Ambulance has the equipment is also a plus. And the fact that we can uh, treat them now is, is enormous for us. In Doylestown, Deanna Durante, NBC10 News.